All right, guys, after yesterday's headache and confusion, trying to wire in this North Star flatbed on my 2006 Dodge Ram 3500 Dually, I ran into issues where my brake light, right there, would blink with my blinkers. Um, and then whenever I pressed on the brake, the blinker would stop and it would just stay illuminated as a brake light. But I finally figured it out, and hopefully this will help some of you guys save a lot of time and that hassle. I'll crawl under the truck and, and show you what I found out. So this is the wiring diagram that was sent with the flatbed. And as you can see, black and white go to reverse lights, yellow goes, yellow and brown and white go to the left hand brake and turn signal, and green, white, and brown go to the right hand brake and turn signal. And then brown and white go to all the marker lights. I printed out copies of my truck's wiring schematic for both right and left. And this bottom one here is what I finally figured out. But what I did is I was trying to use, don't mind, don't mind the wiring mess. What I was trying to use is the factory wiring harness from left and right. And this is the pigtail that comes with the truck bed. <clears throat> so this dark green white wire is your backup lamps. And so I tied that in with black into the truck pigtail or the the bed pigtail this yellow white wire is tied into the right hand brake light turn light and dark green and white wire on the left hand brake and turn light is wired into the yellow. Yellow on the pigtail goes to the left hand turn brake lights. The brown is your, uh, like I said, it was your marker lights. So where I'd run into problems is you got five wires coming from each side. Well, you only have five wires on this pigtail. Green goes to right, yellow goes to left, brown is your kind of a common, and it's your marker lights, your running lights, and it goes to, brown goes to all the lights. White is of course ground on trailers and truck beds. Um, well, I don't have enough spots to put five wires in and you can't tie these together because then you start running into issues with, hey, your brake light on your cab is blinking because when this yellow wire is sending a signal and, and pulsating, blinking, and you tie this tan wire in, well, now your brake lights and turn signal are all blinking. And then once you hit the brakes, the tan wire sends a solid signal, and so it overrides the pulsating signal, and so then your brake lights would just come on solid. 
So what I did was I took the factory four-way plug that goes to my trailer hitch. Since, since I'm not going to be using it and the truck bed comes with its own four-way plug and everything back there, I cut the end off black as ground on a vehicle white is ground on the truck bed trailer. Um, so not using black. Green to green. Goes to my right hand blinker. Yellow to yellow. Goes to my left hand blinker. And then tie in the factory blinker into the yellow as well and tie in the factory blinker into the green as well. So these three. And that will prevent the fast blinking like you would get if you had a turn signal out. So your truck doesn't see, doesn't see it as, as an issue. I'll crawl back out from under the truck and turn the lights on and show you guys. So this is just your running lights on. So with the yellow, just tied into the yellow from the four-way factory plug, you get a fast blink. It thinks it has a blinker out. So you can see that it has, thinks it has the blinker out. So I will take from the left hand side, I will take this dark green and white wire And I will tie it into yellow. Sorry, I had to put the phone down. Hard to hard to do one-handed. So now it's normal blink. Dark green tied into the yellow. Normal normal blinker speed. And so you would do the same with the greens and coming from your right hand side it would be this yellow white wire tied in and it will fix your fast blinker speed so down here is what i found out so dark green to yellow to yellow for the left so yellow it's yellow white dark green white so yellow white goes to green green brown goes to brown and then the light green and white goes to the black wire and that is your backup lights and you see my my rear brake light up on the cab is not blinking only the blinkers so now I'll hit the brakes and it will continue to blink like normal so everything seems to work very well with that and so now I will get under there and clean up all the wiring, solder all my connections, and call it a day. So I will turn on my reverse lights. Because I already had that light green. 
wired in to the black. All right, guys, so here is the finished product. Got all my wires bundled up there nice. Obviously, you're not gonna use some of the plugins. I had these wires going to some license plate lights, aftermarket LED license plate lights, and not going to use those. Since this truck bed has a nice LED license plate light. And this is the four prong factory connector that was on the wiring harness that I used. So black, brown, yellow, green that went to trailer. So cut it off, installed it in. This is the uh, goes to the truck bed, pigtail to the lights, and then it's all wired in up underneath all that stuff. Uh, all the wires that I didn't use have got heat shrink on them, double heat shrink to help with any kind of corrosion that might get. These plug-ins were to the old marker lights. So those aren't used anymore. So the only thing I'm waiting on now is a connector to go from that to my factory trailer wire harness, which is that. So once I get that, I'll unzip a couple of those and plug it in. And that goes just to my seven pin trailer but it'll also go up to the gooseneck hitch there's another seven pin connector up there so that's it north star truck bed wired into a 2006 dodge ram 3500 thanks for watching if you guys don't use these why not these things are a lifesaver they're a low temp heat shrink solder connection makes a good clean corrosion free connection bought off of Amazon all right, a quick recap. This is the wiring harness we're using. Yellow to left, green to right. And this is the wiring I used. So from the factory wire harness, there's a white and dark green, and it went to yellow to yellow. And on the right side, I got a white yellow and that's tied green to green. And then brown to brown and light green to black. The rest of them are unused. So all these, all these wires, so there's light green, which goes to black, the white and yellow, is, goes to green to green, the white and gray doesn't go to anything, white and tan doesn't go to anything. And on the left hand side, Light green, I don't have going to anything. No, 
light green. Light green, I don't have going in, into anything. Um, I had the dark green going yellow, yellow. The white and yellow, I don't have going to anything. And the tan, I don't have going to anything on the left hand signal. And everything works.